Hey guys, how are you doing? Good to see you guys. So today we're going to go over how to make a mermaid pattern on a number. So the most popular number is 1, so we're going to go ahead and type in 1. I like to use the font Birthday Bash that's available on Design Space because it's a thick one font. So I'm going to go ahead and place that on there. And we don't need this extra one. I'm just going to take it off so it's already ready to go. I, go ahead, I went ahead and deleted that. Then you're going to go to your images and you're going to type in mermaid, but it comes in with a lot. So you can go to um, categories or cartridges, sorry, and type in mermaid and it comes up with this mermaid party. So you can go ahead and click on there and we're going to upload this. It's a subscribed image if you have Cricut access. We're going to go ahead and insert it in and we're going to line it up the way we would want it to look on our mermaid. So we're going to go ahead and put it on there and then we're going to select both images and we're going to hit slice and it's going to slice out our scales and so we're going to erase the excess because we no longer need that and there's different ways you could do this to set this apart but I like to go ahead and copy it and paste it and then we're going to go down here to contour and I'm going to select hide all contours and that's going to leave that one on top and then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and contour it. And I'm just going to um, select the one. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that part. And now it's split into two pieces. And you can go ahead and line them up. And you can change the color. So the top of a mermaid may be uh, purple. And the bottom of your mermaid, you might want it to be green or you want it to be that teal color so you can go ahead and go right here and click a teal color to have it printed out and there you have your mermaid number so you can go ahead and group it and now it'll print into this scalloped pattern of a mermaid at the bottom and the mermaid part on top so you can make it with any number you want just go ahead and add it and then sometimes you'd like to add a name to it and add a mermaid tail to it which is one of the images that I like to do so I'm going to go ahead and go back to images and I'm going to go back to images on here and type in mermaid. And then there's this really, really pretty mermaid uh, font that should be on here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, it has a tail on it. Let's see if it comes up. Okay, let's go to our cartridges and see if we find it on there. It might be under this ocean. So oh, it's right here. So this is the mermaid tail that I want to use. So this was under the cartridges and it was under the ocean shells and mermaid spells. I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to use this one because I only want the mermaid word. And then I have it on here and I only want the tail so I could either go in and contour it or I can go ahead and slice it out which is what I think I'm going to do because it'll be faster to do it this way in my opinion so I'm going to go ahead and twist it and probably have to do two cuts so I'm going to slice and then I'm going to slice the other part out because I no longer need that. And we're going to slice that out. Oh, and do you see how I slice this a little bit? So we're going to go ahead and undo that real quick because I don't want it to have that indentation in there. So I accidentally had it touching, so I don't want it to touch at all on the mermaid tail. So now we're going to slice it on there again. And then I'm going to go ahead and add another shape. And I'm going to slice out the rest of the mermaid so that it's only the tail by itself and then I'm going to erase my excess and I'm going to add this tail to a name so let's go ahead and add a text let's add the name Jasmine and we're going to go ahead and change the text to let's change it to Angelina font no let's change it to the Samantha font because that's a really popular font it's a paid for font, so we're going to put it on there. And then um, I'm going to ungroup it. 
and I'm going to go ahead and move everything so that everything touches because the script font, remember with the script font, you don't want the letters to be just hanging there. You want them all to be touching except for the uh, capital letter, which doesn't have to be touching because obviously it's a J on there and it, it shouldn't be touching that A so you can bring it closer. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and add this tail to it. And do you see how the tail just kind of adds to it, makes it a flare? So I'm going to go ahead and weld it. And it makes it look like it's part on there. So it makes it look like, look like the jasmine has that tail added to it. And you can put it on a onesie, you can put it on a shirt. It's a perfect mermaid party little outfit that you can put on. All right, guys, well, that's it for today. Just a quick little video showing you how to do that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much.